Hello you two. Here we are at my server. And we're at my server to talk about my desktop, ironically enough. My desktop machine has... It used to have five one terabyte drives in it. Now it has four because I took one out due to power supply limitations. That being uh, this one right there, actually. Now, I just don't have enough space in my boot drive anymore, so... Remember how I upgraded my server to a 2 terabyte drive? Well, I'm going to move that 2 terabyte drive to my main machine and move one of the 1 terabyte Hitachi Ultra Stars into my server. I'm going to move both of them in there actually since they're uh, uh, server grade hard drives and just use those. So what I'm doing right now is ba I'm backing up the 2 terabyte drive to the 1 terabyte drive. I don't have 2 terabytes of data on there so it's fine. Uh, so. That's going. That two terabyte drive is going in place of this uh, one terabyte Hitachi drive, which is a good. Dr wow, that's a weird pattern that I'm seeing on the screen because of this light. Anyway, yeah, this is the the this is my boot drive, uh, which is a really good drive, but unfortunately, it's just getting too small. So I'm going to use the uh, Toshiba two, two terabyte drive. Which, in all actuality, is actually a Hitachi drive, because Toshiba inherited Hitachi's old tooling uh, when that whole hard drive fiasco took place a year or two ago. So, there you have it. Uh, Going to use Clonezilla to move the data over, and I'll show you that process and everything. Uh, just as a sort of little maintenance video thing. So, i got to let this copy for a couple hours, and then we'll be all done and ready to go. And of course, here's the hard drive we're going to use. A, this is the Toshiba drive that was really, that's really a Hitachi drive under the hood. It's two terabytes and has that advanced format stuff going on. So I don't know how uh, cloning the drive is going to shake out when it comes to that. But I'm going to try my best to get that uh, working the way it should. So there you have it. We're going to clone all that. We're going to clone. Uh, this Hitachi drive over here, clone this one terabyte Hitachi to this two terabyte Toshiba Hitachi drive here, so let's get that started. Alright, I'm using Clonezilla to do this, so right now it's calculating the bitmap, but it's going to cop essentially, uh, okay, essentially it's going to, uh, uh, clone the one terabyte disk to the two terabyte disk, and I'll have to I'll resize the partitions in Windows. And here's the most professional looking drive clone setup in the world. I got the one terabyte Hitachi just on its bait, just like on its side like that, and I've got the Toshiba drive just sitting there like that. This is usually how I clone hard drives. I mean, I make sure it's a nice clean wood surface. The wood surface doesn't conduct anything, so it works out fine. And yeah, this is the uh, this is what the LAN party machine became, my workshop computer now, which this is typically what it does. It sits here and clones drives and other maintenance tasks like that. So <clears throat> there you have it. Along while cloning that drive, I've decided to put these Hitachi <coughs> Ultra Star drives that I got off eBay uh, into my file server because these are server grade drives. They should really be in there. So I've moved my data onto the bottom drive. And these are the drives that were in there, some uh, Western Digital Caviar Blacks, which are good drives, but they're desktop grade. And these server grade drives will last a lifetime, so should be fine. I just need to move the data from one of these onto the uh, onto that middle drive there, and then one of these will go back in there. So it should be a pretty, you know, painless process. Uh, I'd like to get a third one of these hard drives to put in the top here. Uh, and eventually all of them will get upgraded to more server-grade hardware in the future. Uh, I'd prefer to use... Uh, I'd, I prefer the server-grade stuff, actually. So that's probably what I'm going to use. Uh, I might even use Western Digital Red Drives if those get any more reliable than they are now. Because I've heard nasty failure stories with those. So, that's that's the story right now. It'll become a 3 terabyte server again. Uh, which is fine, because I actually, the stuff that's on here is just mostly crucial stuff I never want to lose. Uh, the rest of, the rest of everything I have, I can just get, get back again. So, things like old movie, what's on my file server are things like old movie projects from years ago, 
uh, <clears throat> ISOs of operating systems. I, I used to have a ton of Linux ISOs just on backed up on here because I was really into just testing distros and VirtualBox. Uh, what else is on here? Uh, backed up DVDs. Uh, I think some music as well, but a lot of it's just uh, data that I've collected over the years that uh, isn't on my desktop anymore. You know, like you know, I'll like back up, my, I'll reinstall Windows every once in a while, and I'll just back up my downloads folder. Sometimes I'll put that on the on like another hard drive somewhere, like an external, and that's what the file server has become essentially. It's an ar it's an archive type of thing for data that I really don't want to lose. So I prefer to use the server grade hardware that's very, very high quality. So I'm glad that I got these UltraStar drives because they're going to be put to the purpose they really should, even though one of these desktop drives is going back in. So there you have it, folks. So while I get all this uh, buttoned up and back together and start copying more files, I will let this clone. As you can see, just in the time that I've been talking, it's been calculating the bitmap even further. And now the copying on the on the uh, server is done. So obviously, I'll edit the fstab file in Debian to accom to accommodate the the different drives. But here are the drives of my main PC. I put the two terabyte drive down there at the bottom since that's going to be the boot drive. Hopefully here. And the the one terabyte Hitachi that was my boot drive is now sitting up here. Has a SATA cable plugged in, but no power plugged in. I need to upgrade my power supply pretty soon to accommodate all these hard drives. So that'll be a future video. But for now, this is what I've done. I've just just this is just a bit of maintenance uh, on both of these systems. I, I need more storage in my main computer because I'm such a data hoarder. So. <laughs> That and HD video adds up quick with uh, uh, the videos such as the ones I'm doing now. So that's the story. So I'm going to say this for the 10 millionth time in the video. There you have it. <laughs> uh, got the two terabyte drive in there. Move my what was my boot drive back up here. I'm not going to touch that drive yet until I know that this works. So let's get this thing started. All right, it booted up into the cloned uh, onto the cloned Toshiba drive just fine. So, check it out. It still says I have a terabyte. So what we're gonna do is expand that. We uh, go to manage here. Do 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 do. Disk management. Where is it? Ah, there it is. As you can see, look at all that extra space over there. As you can see, there's a lot of extra space here. So what we're going to do is uh, extend that. And it will process. And I will... Wow, that was quick. And now I have two terabytes of space on my boot drive. Yay! This is evident by that. So, there you have it. Two terabytes of space. And I've put server-grade hard drives in my file server, something that I've been wanted to do for a while, but was really just too lazy to do. But now I got around to it because I needed more space, so that works. One thing I forgot to mention is I didn't end up having to use the... Uh the alignment tool because I noticed when it was cloning the drive it was cloning them at uh, four kilobyte sec the it was at it was cloning it at four kilobyte blocks anyway so I don't think I have to run it I mean later on I'll obviously check but I don't think I have to run anything so sweet two terabytes of space on the main drive woohoo I'd also like to add that that Western Digital Caviar Black that uh, was left over from all the server drives, I stuck that in the Linux machine. So now I have a 128 gigabyte SSD as the root drive and the one terabyte drive as the swap and home partition on my Linux install. So much more space now. Yay! Alright, and that is the maintenance of my PCs. I hope you enjoyed this video and have a good one everybody. Ciao.